Hey guys, welcome back to the Pinterest marketing course part two. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to get Pinterest followers. Now, this is um, a method that I'm currently using to build up my Pinterest following. Following, and you know, as I'm showing you guys these, you know, skills and tactics that I'm using, I'm actually using them myself. And um, yesterday, or on my last video, you saw that I had 6.5, I think no, 6.7, excuse me, monthly viewers on my uh, Pinterest. Uh, page but today if I go back to my page and let me just show this to you guys so if you guys want to know if this stuff actually works you know it is working everything that I'm teaching you I'm currently doing if I go back to my page right now and that has increased to over 22 um, over 22,000 monthly viewers and I was just at 16,000 on the last video so it's telling you that I'm increasing my following and that I've been um, that I'm using the same tactics that I'm preaching and teaching to you guys so um, let me just go ahead and just show you how many followers I have I have over 2,900 followers now that doesn't that, that when I talked about this in the last video I have over 22,000 monthly viewers because I have viral content I post viral content I repair viral content if you want to learn all about that you can go back to my last video but um, you know my followers doesn't doesn't in my monthly viewers don't don't match up so you don't need a lot of followers in order to be successful on Pinterest um, I've no I, I saw a page uh, the other day they had over 54,000 followers now they might have been fake but they only had 300 monthly viewers so I mean it's all about the content It's all about what you're posting it's all about um, you know the different niches that you in you can actually see some of the niches that I'm in you know um, I am a serial entrepreneur that I mean I have more than one business I do I have other ideas on the side but in my um, and I didn't teach this to you guys in my last video, but in this in my description, I have some of the um, the keywords that I want to target. Food is one of them. I love food. I love to eat. Um, I am a foodie, so I have that in here. And I have art and t-shirt enthusiasts. I love art. I love t-shirts. Um, I love designing t-shirts. So that's right along with what I want to rank for. And I also help people make money online. So I just changed this up, and I probably should add another. Um, other little um, stand right here be you know with this right here but anyway basically just we did that to you know basically include all the stuff that I'm interested in so you know Pinterest you, with Pinterest you don't have to be just interested in one thing like, like I have a home decor board I have a food board I have an art board I have t-shirt boards um, you know and I have ways that you can make money online so I want to be I don't want to put myself in a box because I really am interested and passionate about a lot of things. And this is just some of the stuff that I'm interested and passionate about. And with this, I added entrepreneur to my profile. Um, the reason why I added entrepreneur to my profile, because I want, you know, I also want to rank. So I have entrepreneur in my uh, business name and entrepreneur right here. Um, uh, before they before they implemented a 25, I think it's a, no, it's a 30 character limit on Pinterest titles uh, people could you know just keep add more and more keywords and put these little um, stands in front of it and just keep adding adding more things like I wanted to add all this to my uh, profile but now they have a 30 character limit because I think people were taking advantage of it and Pinterest noticed that and they started um, implementing it um, on their um, on the profile so let's get into the video before I start rambling about other stuff but let me show you the software that I'm using now I'm not currently um, when it comes to Pinterest um, I'm, I'm not currently doing that much work as far as everything is automated I'm using Tailwind and I'm also using Pin Pinterest which I'm on right now now Pin Pinterest is free for seven days and then I think it's twenty nine dollars um, per month uh, so I've been using pen printers for a while and I'm gonna show you how I use it But let me just it's one more thing that I wanted to tell you guys on the tailwind app now Some of these pens are coming from pen Pinterest because they have a way that you can actually um, Repin pens and all of that stuff and they actually go out and find content and this is why I like pen pen Pinterest. I keep getting the name this stuff because I think it's just a tongue twister But I like pen Pinterest a little bit more than tailwind because they have auto, artificial intelligence and they go out and find content to repin to my boards instead of me 
go and have to look for it. So this is a way more automated way to use uh, Pin Pinterest, um, you know, for your Pinterest profile. So yeah, I would say if you have um, profiles in different niches, Pin Pinterest is the way to use it. You can um, add every many accounts you want to uh, to Pin Pinterest. Um, I think. This is, I think this has the most main for, for your buck when it comes to software, it's just because of the way that it can actually go out and find auto pins for you. So I'm gonna show you all that in a minute, but like I, like I was talking about with Tailwind, you will actually have to go out and find um, pins and then just hit this schedule button and then schedule it instead of, you know, having something like Pin Pinterest do it for you. I use both in, you know, you know, I pay for both. So, um, you know, but I think Pin Pinterest is, is the one that you should go with if you just have, you know, the budget to get one. But if you can get both, I, I think you should get both. So what this does for me, it unfollows and follows people for me. So since I've got with Pin Pinterest, it has gotten me over it has gotten me over 60 followers. Um, I had 2,838 before I got on here. And I think I'm at 3,000 now. I should be at 3,000 now. I don't know what else is. Oh, 2,900. So um, it has gotten me over 61 followers just by using the platform so um this is like i said is artificial intelligence you don't have to download it on your uh desktop desktop so you don't have to install anything it's 100 percent cloud-based and what you can do is you can auto pin which is the, the you know the feature that i love you pin relevant pins to your board um to your board of choice don't forget to choose the boards by scrolling down and um hitting the auto pin plat panel and i'm gonna show you how you can do that and how you can set up auto pins what it does is, which is my favorite feature, it goes out and, like I said, it finds pins um, that are related to your niche. And how they find the pins, you add tags. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. You can also schedule stuff. I don't have any scheduled pins because I have that on another software. You can add comments and um, tell them which, which people to target. You can invite people, which is, is also another great feature. Um, <clears throat> when you invite people, if you're trying to build up group boards, um, this is a great feature for that because they can go out and find relevant people in your niche and invite them to be be on the board. And it does the follow and unfollow for you. So I have a, a lot of niches in here that I want them to go out and actually uh, target. And it's just basically the content that is on my uh, boards. I want people to come and see what's on my board. And I follow them. They come check out my profile. And if they don't follow me back, um, Pin Pinterest goes out and unfollows them for me, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, when you first come in here, it says I've, I've had a Pinterest account for years now, um, years, and that's part of the reason why I get a lot of viewers because I've, you know, I've been on I've been on Pinterest a while, um, and I've been posting consistently on Pinterest a while. So, um, if you don't have, if you just start a new account, you want to start off with 120 gradually. I can actually up this, but you know, right now I just have it at 200, um, 200 follows per day, 215 pins per day, 200 unfo unfollows per day. I've actually done this, the unfollow and follow method on my account. And, you know, I did find, I think I was following maybe two to 300 people a day and I'm following the people that wasn't following back. Um, so I have experience doing this. Pinterest is, Pinterest knows, you know, this is my, um, my, um, excuse my user activity is not, you know, um, drastically different than what I was doing before so they're not really going to penalize my Pinterest account because you know I've actually been doing this for a while so and I've actually been on here a while so you know if but if you start a new account start off with 120 and just gradually work your way up week to week so and this is where they show you you know what they're doing so you can actually see the comments that they're coming in on pins who they're following uh, the pictures that they're posting and this is the auto uh, pin board. So let me just show you one that I've been uh, been really uh, using as far as niches. So this is a dog board, and these are basically where you add your tags. So if I was to add puppy lover to here, it would add there to there. So um, how you would do this if you don't already um, know what tags and what niche—I mean, not, not what niche, but what tags you should use—I would go to my Pinterest account hit the ad overview and create an ad and let me just pull up the uh the stuff real quick so i can just show you how it's done so um give you a, a old campaign i will come over here and 
you have a ad section. Now you're not actually gonna create. You're not actually. I mean, you're not actually gonna create an ad, or you just wanna you just wanna create an ad group. And you wanna come in here and you wanna search the terms that you want to um, rank on uh, Pinterest for. So, dogs. And I'll show you um, what is getting the most monthly searches. So you can see down here: dog deterrent, dog vaccines, dog tattoos, dog breeds, dog beds. Um, dog snapshots, dog sandbox. So you can just come in here and add the tags that you're um, that you're interested in. I can add dog posts in here, and let me do dog printables, dog accessories, dog beds. And I will just come in here and just add a comma to it, and then just select all and uh, copy and paste this into my um, my tag session. So let me just paste and then there go all of the uh, tags that I copy from my research on Pinterest and I will save those tags and you can tell them how many pins that you want the pin today I have 15 for each one of these is different like for parks and recreation I have like 30 because that's something I'm trying to rank for um, because I'm creating a t-shirt in that field uh, Star Wars fan club you know I have think I think about 10 you can actually have however many boards you want to have on at, at one time you can do that with pin pinterest and down here you can see about the invitations to board boards i want people to you know get into some of these um niches so i'm inviting people to the board and if you're going to invite people to the board you want to make sure that you have a certain amount of rules in your board just so you can just be create and, and you want to monitor them too but um as you're growing your group board and as you're inviting people you want to make sure they know the rules of, of you know of course no nudity none of that stuff in your boards you want to keep this um your board clean you want to have your board to have relevant content so you definitely want to um stress that in your description when you're inviting people to the board so yeah that's about it that's how you use pin pinterest um i'll leave a link to it in the description below but it's a really cool software that you should use um, this is how I get a lot of followers. Um, you know, I follow and unfollow, and it does all the work for me. It is automatic. I'm not really doing any work. I just, you know, set up um, what I want, what the people that I want pit pictures to go follow, in what categories and what niches they go out and do the work. I sit and chill. Excuse me, I didn't mean to hit that mic, but I sit and chill and let pin pictures do the work. So that's what I'm doing. That's how you use Pinterest, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.